Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and I want to show you how we put wheels on this mobile chicken coop. Now in the spring we built this coop and did not put wheels on it thinking we could drag it and we ended up hurting a lot of chickens legs and getting them stuck and uh, it was really hard on our back. So we sadly did not put wheels on it the whole six weeks we had meat birds in there. But before we were putting our laying, ha laying hens in there, we wanted to upgrade this coop and make it way easier on us. So I'm going to show you quickly how we added wheels to this coop. So this is pretty simple. It's a lever system. You need a tire. This one is 8 or 10 inches in diameter. I tried a smaller one. That was not going to work. So make sure your tire is big enough. And then we need three bolts. One to attach the tire to the wood piece one to attach the wood piece there right by the tire on the far right to the chicken coop and then uh, the one on the far left is not actually going to be attached to this board but it will be attached from the inside sticking out on the chicken coop and then this will be the lever part that you pull down and that hole that the bolt on the left is currently in will slide into the bolt that is sticking out of the chicken coop to hold it in place while you move it. And then obviously you want some washers um, on in the insides of these bolts and then um, you need a nut on the other sides of each of these bolts to hold them in place. And that's it and you need two, one for each side of your coop. For this board, there was no specific measurement it's maybe somewhere between two and three feet long and we just cut a two by four and a half so it just needs to be thin enough to be able to work with but uh not too thin that it's flimsy and uh you know long enough so that you can get a good amount of leverage without being ridiculous long so here's how it looks on the coop it is anchored on the far back of the coop and then the far right of the board is where it is sliding on and off of the bolt to move the lever up and down. We first attached the wheel to the board and then attached the board to the back part of the coop and then from there measured where the hole is to put the bolt in the front where it needs to stick out and stick through the hole. And then, of course, when you're working on a project with the family around outside, somebody's going to find something. And we found this massive pincher beetle, which then, of course, when you have chickens, you give big things like this to your chickens <laughs> and see what they do. And, you know, it got, like, shaken off towards me and it almost touched me and I screamed. But it was all cool and the chickens loved this beetle. What a yummy snack. No, what is it? It's a beetle. I don't care. <laughs> Is it a beetle? I don't know. And then, you know, when you're standing around waiting for somebody else to do the next part, you get distracted by your kids playing a ring toss game with an inner tube. And Okay. Anyway, back to work. Turns out I did not get footage of us actually attaching this to the coop. But here it is on and moving around and it works great. And I highly recommend putting something like this on your mobile coop if you haven't put wheels on it already. Save your back, save yourself some chicken leg bruising and put some wheels on your coop. Well, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit subscribe if you want to see more of my content in the future, and I will see you in the next video.